mature and this channel is all about the narcissistic personality disorder to give you more understanding of those you might be dealing with in your life and how to recover from narcissistic abuse. Now this video is all about no contact, grey rock and how to get them to level up. Um, first I just want to thank all the subscribers that have been here from the beginning and the ones that have joined us recently and thank you for all your brilliant comments, they are greatly appreciated. Um, it's nice to know people are recovering from this and are getting the help that they need from this. Now if you are new to the channel you'll have not heard this before if you've been following for a while i do apologize you will have heard this before um not the video what i'm about to say now uh the narcissistic personality disorder is on a spectrum and it is a disorder it is who they are and they do have to have traits at least five of the traits to actually be on the disorder now a few of the more noticeable ones are the lacking of empathy towards other people, the fact that they feel entitled and the fact that they exploit others. If they have those three, you're most likely dealing with someone that is on the disorder. But we do all have traits of narcissism within us. Um, it is human nature and there is positive narcissism. There is those people that go out and achieve and do well for themselves, but they don't exploit others in the process. And then there is the negative narcissism. So you can get two people that aren't actually on the disorder, but just because of how they spark off each other, they bring those negative qualities out in each other. Now, um, when it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, it all depends on whether they are on the disorder and if they are on the disorder, what level they are at. So, there is those that you will need to go no contact with. And this can cause people a, a lot of fear, a fear of what reactions, fear from the smear campaigns, um, a fear of judgment from others. It can also cause a lot of guilt because it's not who you are. You don't go around cutting people out of your life. So it can cause a lot of inner guilt and inner, ter inner turmoil. That you need to recover from there is videos with more information on those now when it comes to no contact there's different levels of no contact with some narcissistic people you can just go no contact with the narcissist and that is all you need to do now when i say no contact i mean delete and block all emails delete and block all phone communication delete and block on eBay, on YouTube, on Facebook, all social media because they will find a way to get in touch with you. And now when, when it's a case of you just going no contact with the actual narcissist, you might then still be dealing with the people who know the narcissist. Now sometimes in life it needs to be like that because if it's, if it's your parent, you if you cut everyone out, you might lose siblings and aunties, uncles, grandparents, your other parent. So I guess it's not always possible to cut everyone out. If it is possible, you can just cut the narcissist out. Now, if you're dealing with a narcissist that then likes to up the games and the smear campaigns, which a lot of them like to do, and they all do it on different levels, you're dealing with someone on a low level um, and they are doing the smear campaign. It is vital that you know who you are and you know that your intentions are good and your reasons are good of why you are choosing to live your life happier and more of a peaceful state of mind. Now, it's not always easy to start and we do all make mistakes and we do often get the mutual friends and the mutual relatives coming at us with stories of what the narcissist is telling them. And all you need to do is let them know that they're entitled to their opinion. If they're willing to listen and understand your point of view, fair enough. If they want to listen to both sides of the story and form their own opinion, that's up to them. If they don't, leave them to it. If they do and they make a judgment on you, leave them to it they are entitled to their opinion you don't have to take that opinion on board yourself and also um when you've got 
the narcissist finding out about things about your life and coming at you with games through those things that they're finding out about there's a few things that you can try and one of the best things is getting both the narcissist which i know if you've got no contact is not always possible but more if you're grey rocking um get the narcissist and that person in the same room together and ask them both directly while they're both together and you'll notice by the look on the innocent person's face and the narcissist's face that the narcissist is triangulating or smearing your name to people. The other one is um, when someone's filling you in with what the narcissist is telling them about you, just let them know that you just, you're not interested in that anymore, that is not part of your life anymore. And the same if the narcissist is getting information about you and what you're up to and using it against you. Um, what you need to do is all the people that you are mutual friends with or mutual family is tell them all a little something about yourself, what you're doing now. Tell them the truth about what you're up to and find out which one the narcissist finds out about and that's the easiest way to eliminate people from your life. Now you don't have to go no contact with those people, you just need to learn not to fill them in on you anymore because you know it's going to get directed straight back to the person you don't want to know. Now some narcissists are on the higher end of the scale so you do have to go no contact with everybody connected and it can be heartbreaking to do this. I have one narcissist in my life who has levelled up and is recently actually giving me praise, which is very, very interesting because it's something I have never had in my entire life from them. So it has worked with them. There is another narcissist, there's no way that's going to work, it is simply grey rock and that is all I can do, all I can do is grey rock. Now, I do have three children with that narcissist and they are now 19, 18 and 15 and they have worked him out for themselves. They are doing very well for themselves. Um, so you can help children through this. There is ways, there is methods for children to do go through this process. And then I have the narcissistic sociopath, which I had to simply cut out of my life, cut all friends and family out of my life related to them which felt mean i felt guilty because they hadn't personally done anything to me i was also worried about how they would judge me for what what I had to come to terms with what was best for me and my children's lives so i just had to go no contact it wasn't until i actually went to the police station um about another breach of a non-molestation order that the police officer said to me, you do realise you're dealing with a psychopath that's manipulating the system. Now before then I was just, now I'm just dealing with another narcissist. So it's a case of I hadn't learned quite enough from the first two, so they thought they'd just send me another one until I really, really got it and really understood it. And when it is no contact, serious no contact, it is cutting off all mutual friends, all mutual family, cutting them off from all your social media making sure absolutely none of them can get in touch with you find out about you and it is hard when they're hitting you with all the smear campaigns but when they are hitting you with the smear campaigns it's about knowing your own mind knowing your own thoughts knowing your intentions are good knowing why you're doing it for your own sanity and how you want to create a much happier life for you and that those people just are not for you, you Misery likes company. Negativity breeds negativity. You do not need to be around those kind of people. Now with some on the middle end of the spectrum, you can do the grey rock method. Now the grey rock method is business-like communication, need to know basis, don't tell them anything about you, don't ask anything about them stick to the topics, stick to the point, and show them no emotions, give them no reactions. Now this is quite easy to do over email or over the messages because the simple thing is, is when you do receive something from them, if it 
triggers any emotional response in you is to not respond it's to put that phone that laptop whatever down go and retreat go and rethink about what's being said and then only respond if you need to do so but respond when you're in a calmer happier place a happier mindset to respond and you only have to respond once you do not need to explain yourself to these people these people are not listening they are not interested in your opinions they are not interested in how you're feeling and they are not interested in coming to a compromise so there's no point wasting your breath trying to get them to see your point of view because they only have their own perspectives they only have their point of view and they are entitled to do that that is their life if that's what they want to do they're entitled to go and do it you most likely are a good person and they can see all the different perspectives can see all the other points of views can look for the good in everybody and anybody which is why most often you've ended up trapped within a relationship either with a narcissistic parent friend boss partner any sort of family member because you're looking for the good in them as well as all the manipulative methods they used to take you down now when it comes to face-to-face -face communication um saying things to to them like um that's your opinion you're entitled to your opinion or saying things like um i wonder what makes you feel that way this kind of gets them a bit it it throws them off balance when you're not coming back with a when you're not defending yourself to them when they can't twist you onto an argument when you've asked them a question of why would you think like that it confuses them a little bit and takes them a step back which can give you that step back just to concentrate on your breathing concentrate on not showing them the emotions especially in the early stages if you're still not quite sorted your own mindset out if you're only just early days out of the relationship and starting grey rock it can hit and trigger a lot of emotions so focusing on your breathing focusing on what you're thinking about that in fact just Pretend that they can love you even if they stood in front of you. Pretend they're not there and go to a memory that makes you feel happy to bring those emotions, those happy emotions in. Stand tall, stand your ground, be confident, which I know can be hard around them, especially when they've instilled so much fear and doubt, self-doubt and dread into you. But the more you practice it, the easier it becomes. Um, and just telling them that you're not interested in talking about that topic right now and you'll watch the pattern of behavior that they circle around to try and provoke reactions out of you and once you've watched that pattern once you've observed their behavior rather than absorbing their toxic behavior you can you can then work out what they're going to hit you with next and it's also good once they have left to at the beginning go and scream it out go and cry it out go and Talk to someone that you trust about the unbelievability of their behaviour. But you will get to a point once you've observed what they do. It's like a bottle of poison. If there's poison on the table and you leave it there, it is not going to affect you in any way. If you pick it up and drink it, you're going to be in trouble. So you've got to kind of look at them as that poison. So you can listen to their words. Do not take them on board unless it matches your beliefs, your values, who you are. Um, and when you get to that point of being able to observe and not absorb, when they've come at you with some games, when they've come at you with words, when they're doing the smear campaigns, if you can spin it round to find the thing that makes it funny, when you can spin things round to find the humour in who they are and what they do, life becomes a lot easier and a lot happier for you now the other one is getting them to level up and this isn't always advisable again it depends on the kind of person the kind of narcissist that you are dealing with getting them to level up means that you have got to be in a good place you have got to have worked on your thinking skills thinking for yourself and not taking on board other people's opinions You've got to work on removing guilt, removing anger and resentment or how to handle anger, resentment, anger and resentment. 
you've got to have worked on the trauma bonding, find, found new passions within your life that fill your needs up and keep you happy and keep you level-headed. And you've got to be at that place to be able to do this. Otherwise, you'll get sucked back into that vortex of negativity, narcissistic, blah. Um, and once you hit that point, which you will hit, we all get there. If you keep working on yourself, you will get there and life will become a lot better for you and you will be a lot happier and you will be able to find the joy and the humour within your life again. Because when you're focusing on all the negatives, when you're paying attention to all the negatives, it fills your world full of negativity. When you can start to distance yourself from that negative, and I know when there's situations going off that are extremely heartbreaking, it's difficult to do. But once you can do it, once you can distance yourself from that and find the, the happy side of life, find the laughter, find the lighter side of life, focusing on the good things, focusing on the things that you are grateful for. The same as if you've gone six months without any hassle for them and then something hits and you feel like you're taking a step backwards and you're not where you wanted to be think about how far you have actually come think about everything you have achieved on that time scale and focus on that and not focus on the slip up or the mistake and then go again and you will get there so about getting them to level up now children for example narcissists when they've lost control of your mind will play never-ending games with children parents can do this triangulating siblings off against each other if it's your parent bosses can do this with co-workers so how you get them to level up is um i'll use children as an example if they are always late if they're always late at dropping off if they're always late at picking up if they're always letting the children down and not turning up when they said they were going to turn up when they're doing stuff like that it's the gray rock do the gray rock show them no emotion do not give them any attention just leave them to it they're entitled to live their life how they want to it doesn't match your beliefs which is fine you're entitled to keep your beliefs but you've got to understand that is theirs and that is their way for living so do you cannot change them you did not cause it you cannot control it and you cannot change it the only thing you can do is control how you respond and how you react to them so when they're doing that just just leave them to it focus on you focus on your life when the children come home all mixed up and I know how incredibly heartbreaking and draining that is but you've got to try and put your happy face on let them let those emotions out explain to them that how they feel is okay and everyone's entitled to their opinions and let them out and then after five ten minutes find something that brings them out of it putting a funny movie on reading a story together singing a silly song to them something that brings the children back out of that down in the dumps where his knee mindset um and into how the joy and the humour of life. And then when the narcissist, which they can do, when they surprise you and actually turn up on time for them, give them lots and lots of praise. Now, excuse me, I don't mean praise in all areas of life. I just mean just thank them for coming on time, for meeting you on time. Just let them know that you appreciate their effort which, like I say, if you're still fresh out of it and you're still in the resentment stage, that's going to be very hard to do on a genuine level. And you have to focus on the back of your mind even when you are out of it. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to focus on the back of your mind that you're not doing this for them. You're not doing this for you. You're doing this for the children. And the same as if you're the parent that goes to collect the children and the children are never ready don't respond just sit and wait for as long as it takes find something else to do while you're waiting and on that rare occasion that they are ready explain to them how grateful you are now if you're the parent that is collecting make sure you pick up at times arranged so you can't give them any ammunition to use against you if you're the parent where 
the children get collected the same day. We make sure those children are ready so that you can't, it doesn't give them any ammunition to go at you. Now, the other thing is, if they, if they miss parents' evenings, sporting events, anything like that, don't give them the attention. Tell them when it is. If they come at you with that's too short notice or whatever they come at you with, that's fine. That's up to them. You know you'll be there and that's all that's needed. The children might ask why they're not there and you just have to explain that they're busy. Even if you know they're not. Remember, it's about the children. Now, if I... It's the same if they do turn up. If they do turn up, then you've got to thank them on behalf of the children. Give them that attention, give them that praise. And I don't mean go overboard with all the, just say, thank you, it's much appreciated that you've turned up to this. And the same haircuts, haircuts bug a lot of people, especially when they get the haircut before a special event, which causes the anger within you, you react to them, they then feed off that, they then twist it all around and it ends up into a massive argument and you're the one that ends up feeling bad. So the next time they come at you with the game of the haircut, thank them. And I know it's hard to do, I know it's hard to do, but just thank them, just thank them for them time. Let them know that they've saved you a job and you appreciate that. It really does throw them off guard. And it's the same with parents. When parents are coming at you with all the negativity of you can't do this and why have you done that and all the other stuff that they come at you with, just switch off. Switch off from it. Do not pay any attention. And then when they do actually do something that you appreciate, let them know that you appreciate that. And it's kind of like training them sounds awful you're not manipulating that's what you've got to understand you are not manipulating them there is a difference narcissistic people manipulate people to get all their own needs met and they do it in subtle ways and obvious ways to get all their needs met they are not interested in you and they are not interested in your happiness you are doing it with good intentions to live a peaceful life you are not doing it to get them to change who they are that is who they are you're not getting doing it to manipulate them into doing stuff for you you are doing it to teach them behaviors you will accept from them and behaviors you will not accept from them narcissistic people don't do it to teach you behaviors they will and will not accept because they never know from one minute to the next what behavior they will or will not accept they are doing it purely to feel better about themselves and to exploit other people. You're doing it for an easy life. You're doing it for an easy life for you, for your co-workers, for your other family members, for your children. You're not doing it to get anything out of them. All you're doing it for is to teach them what you will accept from them. And don't take it further. Don't start being over nice. Don't start being over friendly. Don't start spending days out with them. Don't take it to that level because then you are just getting sucked back in and it's really not worth it. You have got to know your boundaries. You have got to know your beliefs and you've got to know your values and you, you've got to be strong about it and not get, and taken, not get taken too far off why you're doing this. You are doing this for the best interest of everybody around you. So things like bosses, when they insult you on a piece of work, now well, there is constructive criticism. So if you can change something, then change it. If you cannot, that is their opinion. You did your best. Leave them. That's Don't give them any. Don't try and explain yourself. Just leave them. And when they come and praise you for the good work, thank them for it. And friends, if friends aren't treating you how you want to be treated, just leave them to it. There's no point in trying to get into a loggerheads of explaining yourself to them, defending yourself to them. Narcissistic people are not interested in that side of things. And if they are being nice, is it okay that niceness? Well, friends, it is a lot easier to cut them off. It's a bit different to cutting off parents or 
ex-partners when you've got children or bosses. Now, when bosses, if you can, change your job. If you can, and I know that can be hard because the smear campaign can follow you when you change the job. There is ways and means about doing this. Um, if you can't change the situation, you've got to change your approach to that situation. So if, if it's an extreme narcissistic, sociopath or psychopath, you might have to go to the extremes of moving miles away and you might have to just cut them all out and that is the only way you can change the situation for you. And then, like I say, there's grey rock for those in the mid-range and getting them to level up if those are on the lower end of the scale. Again, if you've got any advice of how you've managed to handle yourself around a narcissistic person and keep your spirits up, find your sense of humour, find your happiness, find your joy and live your life well for you and creating your dreams, please add it into the comments. There is lots of brilliant videos and information out there. So just find the ones that work for you, that you can relate to, that help you process it all and move on for it all to a much happier life. Thank you for listening.